woman's choice to pass up a free painting over 50 years ago is still haunting her. Judging art can be incredibly difficult. A canvas covered in abstract rectangles may be an elementary eyesore to one person, and it could be a fine enough work to hang over the mantle for another. The beauty of art is truly in the eye of the beholder. Over 50 years ago, Gay Horrell knew she was looking at a special painting, yet against her instincts, she let herself be talked out of buying it. Now, at age 76, she can't help but look back on her decision and frown. She'd learned just how special that painting was, and how much it was worth. Gaya was in her early 20s when she met and married Tim Holm. They were a happy couple living the American dream of the 1960s. As a newlywed, Gail fantasized about the life she and Tim would lead together. Still, a little more cash would have certainly helped. Meanwhile, Gail was eager to impress her new in-laws, Charles and Molly Holm. They were a hard-working pair who owned a farmhouse in Stratfordshire. One day, they were having a sale and insisted the newlyweds come poke around. While browsing, Gail was struck by a particular item. A painting was laying among the farm equipment and assorted heirlooms. It featured a rugged brick house and a woman in a blue dress tending to the entryway. The roof was covered with hay and the bright blue sky above was filled with puffy clouds. Gaia knew she wanted it. Gaia's in-laws, however, were not impressed. Out of all of their possessions, their new daughter-in-law was asking for a filthy old painting they'd received in exchange for farm supplies. There was even a hole in the canvas. They insisted Gaia take a brass handbell instead. The last thing Gaia the newlywed wanted to do was to cause a commotion. After all, she was trying to build a new life with her husband. To bicker with his parents over such a small matter would be asinine. And yet, Gaia was lured to the enchanting painting. Once again, she asked to have it. This time, Tim's parents were growing frustrated. They insisted Gaia pick an item she'd get better use out of. To avoid confrontation, Gaia gave up on the painting and walked away with the brass handbell. Her in-laws were happy, Tim was happy, but for Gaia, the decision would become forever haunting. Years after her marriage with Tim ended, Gaia stumbled on a familiar news report. It described a painting of an old farmhouse with a woman in a blue dress. That's when Gaia learned the painting's true origin. Peasant woman in front of a farmhouse. The painting she found out was called Peasant Woman in Front of a Farmhouse. After the Holmes family sale in 1967, the painting went on a miraculous journey that will forever change the way you go thrifting. The owner of a local auction house, oblivious to who painted the piece, purchased it for a mere four pounds. There, the masterpiece hung, unassumingly, next to knock-off contemporaries, with no buyers. The piece was auctioned off to a junk shop. It sat there for three whole years before a customer noticed a strange detail. Luigi Grasso was in a store full of antiques, while browsing the art section, he came across a painting with familiar brush strokes, but a landscape he just couldn't place. Then in the corner of the painting, he noticed a faint signature. Vincent. Luigi, who'd just been wandering the streets of North London, found himself looking at a painting signed by Vincent van Gogh. His heart dropped. Could this be a genuine van Gogh? With haste, Luigi put down 45 pounds and took the painting straight home. He had a hard time convincing buyers the painting was authentic, so he turned to Amsterdam's Van Gogh Museum. In Peasant Woman in Front of a Farmhouse, a key figure stood out to experts. Experts were able to study the painting's composition to confirm its date. It was painted in 1885, where Van Gogh was only 33 years old. Luigi rejoiced when he sold it for a hundred thousand pounds, but the painting's price point was only growing. After Luigi sold the painting in 1970, it changed owners quite a few times before landing in the lap of an American collector. In 2001, the collector purchased the painting for 1.5 million pounds, over 10 times the amount Luigi made. The American collector kept hold of the painting until just months ago. As Gaia recently learned, the unknown buyer had purchased the forgotten masterpiece for a whopping 13 million pounds. This eclipsed all previous sales, but none more than Gaia's price tag of free. She spoke out about the painting's value. 
Oh dear, how naive of me, says Gaia, to the Stropshire Star, about her regretful decision years ago. Of course, in those days, I couldn't argue with my in-laws, and ended up with a brass handbell. I learned my lesson the hard way. Gaia may resent her in-laws now, but there was a silver lining for her. There are many, many more original Van Gogh paintings floating out in the world. People search desperately for them like rare golden tickets. How is this possible if Van Gogh was rumored to have only sold one painting his entire life? Van Gogh's family had always seen the talent in the young man, so his brother, Theo, sold Vincent's paintings on his behalf. There is no record on how many were sold, leaving endless possibilities. The experts, however, weren't messing around. There are countless missing pieces of artwork to uncover, including those by Van Gogh, Picasso, Vermeer, Raphael, Carvaggio, you name it. While it's fun to speculate, don't count on stumbling across one for your next big break. As Gaia can tell you, it all comes down to luck.